We start by noting that a magnetic moment produces its own local magnetic field in a pattern called a dipole field, and henceforth, we will use these terms dipole and moment interchangeably. Now, the laws of physics tell us that a changing magnetic field induces an electric field, and a changing electric field induces a magnetic field. Therefore, when magnetic dipole rotates, it produces a changing magnetic field within a loop antenna, thereby inducing an electrical signal or voltage that is easily detected. This animation demonstrates the electric signal produced by a, signal, by a single rotating magnetic dipole or magnetic moment interacting with a single loop antenna. The terms dipole and moment are interchangeable. Note how the rotation produces a perfect sinusoidal waveform at the same frequency. If you could imagine multiple rotating dipoles, the nearby antenna would measure the sum of all the induced electrical signals. This produces the essential problem for MR imaging, which is the inverse problem, how to obtain information about multiple dispersed dipoles from the additive signal detected by a single antenna. Now, why does the dipole even rotate in the first place? Although the complicated reasons are buried within the basic laws of physics, the recipe is simple. Just place the dipole inside a strong external magnetic field, as we saw in the preceding animations. Grab the dipole with your hand, or anything else that can hold it, and turn it so that it no longer points along the external magnetic field. Then let go and guess what happens. It starts moving, but not to align along the external magnetic field. It starts rotating around the axis of the external magnetic field. Now if we hold the dipole and this time align it along the magnetic field and then let go, it will just stay there.